All right, now back to school means a lot of things. New school supplies, new clothes, of course. Some people have that fresh fit laid out the night before. But let's not forget a fresh do. Joining us this morning, we have Carmen Veal Conway. She is the owner of Brown Skin Women, a salon for natural hair right here in the capital city. So let's go ahead and get started. You know, Carmen, thinking about back to school and hairstyles, it just brings back so many memories, some of them traumatic. Uh, my mom had a time trying to tame my big curly afro. Um, but we're here to simplify the process yes. for families out there. You don't have to fuss and fight with your kids every morning. Uh, so what is the first uh, thing you recommend as far as setting up the style for success? So starting with a healthy foundation, so clean hair, as you know, I talk about. Sure. So starting with hair that has been hydrated and cleansed, conditioned and detangled, and then moving into the hairstyle, being mindful of how you plan to manage that style, mm -hmm. that's gonna set the foundation for how good it lasts. Right, right. I know some people out there, like, you know, uh, people with coarse hair textures don't have to wash their hair often or maybe once a month, but it's not what we wanna do, right? No, that is not. We should be cleansing our hair about once a week, twice if you really wanna put in the extra bonus points for healthy hydrated hair, but about once a week is ideal to really maintain the health and hygiene of the hair. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with some yeah. of the styles now. Maddie's, I've definitely had something like that when I was a kid. Um, what do we have here? So for smaller children, toddlers, five, six year olds, I recommend something that you can do almost daily uh -huh. because they are kids. They're gonna play, they're gonna roll around, they're gonna get everything in their hair. And so you need to be able to do it over. But realistically, this hairstyle takes me about five minutes in the morning. So ideally you'd be able to do this every morning or something similar, two mm -hmm. braids, one big ponytail, but something that's less maintenance and less like ability for them to actually be messy with their hair so they don't yes. come home looking like they aren't loved. Hey, I know what they were too about that. If I went to school with my hair down, I'd come back looking like yep. I ran right through a tornado. I got exactly. swept up in a tornado. Exactly. So this is just a low maintenance hairstyle that allows you to get it done quickly, but also redo it every day or every other day, if you will. But yes. she'll come home looking not like this, so you want to do it yeah. over. Yeah. Now, which kind of products do you recommend for a style like so that? So you can either use a leave-in or you can use a lighter hold product like a mousse or a lighter like hold gel mm -hmm. but nothing that's going to put a firm cast in the hair because you're going to be doing it over tomorrow so simply putting water on it the next day yeah. will reactivate those products that ingredient inside of that product and you can just do the hair without having to reapply product the second day great yeah. great now maddie's pretty young how yeah. old are you maddie i'm three Three. Three. Okay. Now, do you have any tips for parents out there on how to get them to, you know, be still yes. while you're trying to do their hair? So it's all about bonding with them and allowing them to be a part of the experience. I allow Madison to help me cleanse her hair. I allow her to help me do different parts of the process so she's not excluded. Mm -hmm. I also allow her to tell me when she's uncomfortable with something I'm doing because I may be using a little bit too much force or tension. And so I'm able to say, oh, I apologize. I didn't mean to do that. Does this feel better? Yeah. So that they, w they feel they have some control because toddlers want control. Mm -hmm. um, and so allowing her to be a part of the process makes it a little less intimidating and more realistic for an approach to being hands-on with the hair more often. Good, good. All right, now let's move on to yes. Miss Charm over here. What do we call that hairstyle? So it this looks like is, some twists, It's right? a flat twist hairstyle. Okay. We have a combination of twists, flat twists in the front and then some two-strand twists in the back. Uh -huh. And so with Charm's hairstyle, this hairstyle is really something that'll last you longer. She's not going to come home looking like Madison on day one, but by the end of the week, this is about two or three days old. This is, it's going to start to get older, but you can still live in this and still look decent without needing to be hands-on in the hair every single day. So about once a week, this is more realistic for an older child. Right, and you use those same, same, uh, same foundation, yeah. same products. Same, 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 the cleansing, the hydration, about once a week, and then go in with your style. And I use the same styling products, so I wouldn't just use a leave-in, I use the mousse for her. Mm -hmm. You can also use a lightweight gel, too, that'll give it a little bit more substance and ability to fight frizz yeah. and yeah. keep the style looking fresher longer. Awesome, yeah. well, thank you so thank much you. for joining us. Hopefully you guys found these tips to be helpful for you. If you just woke up, or you're just tuning in and you missed some of this, don't worry, we will have this information on our website and on the Fox 61 yes. YouTube page so you can go back to it awesome. when you need those tips. Thank you so much, Carmen. Thank you, Symphony. All right, let's